day three. So we were glassing this big stretch of BLM and there's a doe we saw. Well, I didn't see it, Josh saw a doe on the top of the ridge, really silhouetted. So we watched it for a few. And then he was able to see right behind her was a buck that was sitting down, just bedded right on the horizon. And we were watching them for a little bit. They're about a thousand yards now. And uh, so then Josh saw the buck get up and it's a big in, it's a big boy. So now I'm trying to close the distance. Let's see if I can't get within a couple hundred yards. The good thing is we got some a little bit of terrain to work with. Ow. So I'm gonna put this away before I break my leg. All right, so I have the biggest buck I've ever seen in my life. Biggest uh, antelope buck I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> we saw him from like a thousand yards away. And there's a fence that's divided to BLM in public. And he is 10 yards, 15 yards on the private side. And he has one doe and he is a monster. <sighs> I just used my Onyx and it looks like yeah, it looks like he's like 15 yards in, and then I'm just holding on him at like 350 yards. So I really hope he jumps this fence and comes on my side, because I will be happy to hang my tag on him. 20 minutes now. Actually, it's been more like 40 minutes. My shoulder's dead. He's just looking at the fence, and he does not know if he wants to come over here or not. He has one doe with him, and she's bedded down. He's locked onto her, so wherever she goes is where he's gonna go. All right, so I've been here now in the sun for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Just still with the doe, just locked on. They've moved a little bit. Now he's about two yards on the private side. The hard part is, is that I have ranged it for me to him. It's really hard. It's really difficult. Um, the fences that are put up out here oftentimes aren't too accurate. So, I mean, it's it's super difficult to see where he, exactly he's at. But it's been, this is really frustrating. Because, I mean, we're talking two yards, three yards. So, I don't know. Walking back to the truck. No big buck. So I watched him, I was probably laying up in the grass for like, like two and a half hours or something. I don't even know how long it was, it was a long time. <sighs> so he, uh, so this buck, huge, literally twice the size of his ears. So he's a really, really nice buck, but he, um, he's rutting and he has a doe up there. And the doe is, uh, he's not really wanting her to go anywhere. Every time she tried to hustle off and go somewhere, he would speed ahead and then she would circle around. And so it was just, they weren't going anywhere. But the problem is they're on the other side of the fence. And right where the property line is, is where the fence is. So, yeah, it's kind of frustrating. I was really hoping that they would come to my side so I could actually have, a, have an opportunity, but kind of bummed out man that was a that was a tough one i just watched him for like two and a half hours or three hours or whatever it was just laying in the bushes picking you know dry firing and stuff like that just waiting and waiting and waiting ranging everything a dozen times and then to have it not work out is pre on, on on that kind of buck especially i mean it's probably the biggest buck i'm gonna see i mean he was really big i tried to get footage with my phone but where I was at, I would have had to pop my head up too high, so I didn't want to do that, but, <sighs> yeah. But the last thing I want to do is come over here to Wyoming and, you know, shoot something off of private land where I'm not supposed to be, so I'm not gonna do that, but having integrity, that's a, that's a good thing, and it's also a bad thing, because if I didn't really care at all, I would have just shot that buck two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, I guess. So, walking back to the truck. One more thing. 
just to document, like this is definitely a low point in the trip. I mean, that buck was so big. I keep, I'm, I'm still walking back and that buck was so big and all he had to do was go, literally at one point he was like three yards onto private. Like three yards, all he had to do was go three yards. It just, it just didn't work out and it's just, it really sucks, you know? Because, I mean, I'll try to definitely go back up there today and hopefully find him on on uh, public. I mean, I don't know what the odds of that actually happening are, but I mean, I'll definitely go go back up there to try to get him, but man, it was frustrating. You know, I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm in the middle of nowhere, like literally nowhere. You know, occasionally you'll see a truck drive by way off in the distance, but I was like, who's getting out, right? Like nobody would know. I could absolutely have shot that buck, dragged it back onto private or public. And then just, you know, claimed it, but that's just not right. It's not the right thing to do. You know, I don't want to, you know, you just never know. I feel like it's integrity and you just never know who's watching or, you know, it's doing the right thing when nobody's watching. And I mean, I know that I did the right thing. Absolutely. Didn't even step foot on, pub or on a private land, but man, it's frustrating. So I'm almost back to the truck now, so definitely the low for me, the lowest thus far.